What's up everyone? Welcome and welcome back to part two of our series on achieving an hourglass figure. In part one, we talked about the upper body and today we're discussing the importance of building the lower body. If you haven't already seen part one, I'll link it up above. Check that video out, but let's go ahead and get started. Building strong leg muscles will contribute to the overall balance of your lower body and strong doesn't necessarily mean that your quads have to be big, right? You can have strength without having the size if that's not something you're chasing after. Some of my top exercises for building my quads would be lunges, back squats, leg press, all of the basics, y'all. The basics work when it comes to building the body you desire. So just keep it basic. It leaves out all the confusion, all the fuss. Squats are gonna be your primary quad builder. And now there's always gonna be secondary muscle groups, but it's a movement primarily used to build the quads. Now, if you're someone that does not feel comfortable or you're not, you've never done back squats or any form of squat, start out with body weight first. That way you lower the risk of injuring your lower back. Injuring your back is like one of the big no-nos in my opinion, because once you injure it, it takes a long time um, for that muscle to recover. Leg press is another favorite exercise of mine that you can perform in many different variations, whether that's a wide stance, narrow or close stance. I like close stance when it comes to building my quads or let's say building that hourglass shape because it's going to build an outer, outer quad. So if you're someone that wants to build your outer quads, do more close stance movements, whether that's goblet squats or close stance Smith machine squats or close stance leg press. Having strong and well-developed glutes not only adds volume and shape to the body, but they're so important for many functions, especially for your squats. I can recall lots of occasions where men would walk up to me and ask me how was I able to squat without having back pain. And the first question I would ask them is, do you train your glutes? I ask this question though, because your glutes are going to support your back. They're a really large muscle, so they have a large function, right? And if you have weaker glutes, you're gonna be feeling some back pain when it comes to movements like squats, because how are you pushing yourself up? So the glutes aren't just aesthetically pleasing and you should be training them because we sit so often throughout the day that you need to wake up that muscle group so that it can participate in different activities like weightlifting. So to strengthen your glutes, you need to target them directly. You can use exercises like hip thrusts and RDLs for building the muscles, kickbacks and donkey kicks for lifting the muscles, and hip abductions or reverse lunges for sculpting the muscles. With whatever routine you choose to stick to, you want to make sure you do that routine for about three to four weeks and then change things up. One of the reasons most people aren't seeing any results is because they're switching up their routine too often. I like to do the same routine for about three weeks and then I switch it up. Sometimes I'll push it out to four weeks. Rule of thumb is that you want to perform about one or two compound movements and then maybe two to three uh, accessory movements. Building muscle is like creating your own masterpiece and I think that's what makes bodybuilding so fun. You're able to either scale up or scale back depending on what season you're in or how you want your body to look. Um, but the most effective way to build mass is to progressive overload the muscle. Now, most people think that progressive overloading only includes increasing your weight, but you could also just increase your time under tension or you could add in more reps. So instead of doing 10, now you're doing 15. Progressive overload essentially is about challenging the muscles to grow by adding in another stimulus. So what the stimulus is really doesn't matter as long as it's a challenge for myself. I sometimes like to increase my weight or I either increase my reps. Be sure to decrease your weight if you're gonna increase your reps. Overall, my best tips to anyone wanting to add mass is to eat in a caloric surplus. Now, depending on how much body fat you have, you can just do a body recomp, but 
essentially you want to eat in a caloric surplus and prioritize your protein intake of course because we're we're gonna have to repair these muscles you also want to lift heavy heavy for me is anywhere between two to eight reps but it's going to be subjective to each individual heavy for you could be eight to ten reps wherever you are in your journey you want to make sure you're lifting heavy because it's going to build mass y'all know this or if you've watched a lot of my content you know this i have at least one or two heavy lifting days a week one for my quads and then one for my glutes on top of this you want to make sure you're switching up your routine now like i said before you do not want to switch it up every week but every three to four weeks um, while keeping your compound movements roughly the same is a good gauge on how often you should do this the next thing you want to do is, of course, make sure you're getting adequate rest and recovery because the muscles repair and grow when we rest. And you will not have the same output in the gym, y'all, if you're tired, if you're mentally and physically tired. Last but not least is supplements. I do not recommend anybody implementing supplements if you do not have a routine that you're already using. But mass gainers and protein shakes are absolutely amazing products to um, implement into your routine if you are having trouble with eating enough or eating enough protein being patient is key on your journey because results will not happen overnight and y'all i know it's so cliche to say but just enjoy the process but it truly does vary depending on each individual because everyone's timeline is going to be unique to how much time they're able to dedicate to the gym their age factors like hormones genetics diet or diet restrictions so i can't necessarily put a time line on it but i can say in about a month you will see some changes in your body and then in about two to three months of consistency other people will be able to notice small changes in your body life is all about evolving so don't expect your body to not evolve right <laughs> especially for as women whose bodies also carry children or it's built to carry children so we're gonna hold our fat a certain way just keep that in mind so that you don't beat yourself so much up beat yourself up so much in your head i encourage everyone that's listening or still tuned in to think of your journey as something that's going to evolve not something that's going to stay the same because if you think of it as something that's going to stay the same it's going to dawn on your mental health but if you think of your body as something that's meant to evolve you're going to uplift yourself nonetheless my ideal exercises for building your lower body would be squats leg press split squats hip thrusts kickbacks and lateral kicks and I forgot about hamstrings y'all know y'all know we gotta work hamstrings right because they tie into the glutes for hamstrings I would do something like straight dead straight leg deadlifts um, or lying hamstring curls now I chose these exercises just because they're gonna target each of these muscle groups at the source and you can really take these few exercises and make them into a routine of about three to four sets eight to ten reps each and still see results but if you need a more so guide to start you off, I'll leave a workout routine in my description box down below. Y'all check that out. Let me know if you choose to try it out in the comment section. Y'all please interact with your girl. And if you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share it with anyone, anyone else that is on their hourglass journey. Y'all remember to stay consistent, stay dedicated, allow your body to evolve. And let's achieve these goals. I hope y'all enjoy. Thanks for joining us today. And I will see y'all in our next video. Bye.